Hi everyone! Today we are going to practice mixing colors together to make a new color. Specifically, we are aiming to create six tertiary colors. They are the colors yellow-green, blue-green, blue-violet, red-violet, red-orange, and yellow-orange. Um, in order to make a tertiary color, we know that we mix one primary and one secondary together. So what you are turning into me today is not a color wheel. I want you to turn in a, um, a sh I guess, a picture that has six tertiary colors. Um, each person is going to look differently. Each person's work is going to look differently. So um, it depends on the colors that they pick in on this little board right here. But they should all be a little bit close, look a little similar to one another. But um, you should be able to know, if you should be able to identify whether your color falls closer to yellow or closer to blue or closer to green, depending on how you mix. So let's practice. First, you want to increase your brush size. And um, about 139 would be good because we want to fit three on the top and three on the bottom. Second, I want you to lower your opacity. Remember, opacity means that if it's at 100, it's solid. If it's lower, then it is not as bright. So what we want is, at this time, because we are mixing, we don't want the colors to be completely a solid color. We want a little bit of this color mixed with a little bit of that color. All right, so instead, lower it to about 50. 51 is fine. And then we are going to start with yellow green. So yellow green start with the name yellow first. That means that there's more yellow in green. Even though we mix both, we need to have more yellow. So first I'm going to look for a yellow or a color closest to yellow I can find. And then I'm going to click twice. Then I'm going to find green. And I'm going to click once. I'm going to put this circle on top of it and click once. And that makes my yellow green. So you see, compare this to this, it's, it's very close to one another. But it's okay that it's a little bit different because of how I, what colors I pick here. You understand? So next, I'm going to move to blue-green. That means there's more blue than green. I will click for blue two times and click for green one time. So I'm going to find my blue first. And then click two times, one, two. Then I'm going to find my green. And I'm gonna click only one time this time and I make my blue green. Now this one's a little even closer to this color right there. Um, and then I'm going to move to blue violet. That's another tertiary color. And you bet I'm going to click on blue two times and click on violet one time. So I'm going to find my blue again. And click on blue two times and find my purple. That's pretty good right there. And click on this one time. And I, make my, I made my blue violet very close as well. Now I'm going to move on to red violet. That means there's more red than, vi than violet, than purple. So I'm going to look for red first, and I'm going to click on the right here two times. Click red two times. One, two. And then I'm going to find violet, that's purple. And I'm going to click on this one time. And that is my red violet. Ooh, this one's pretty close to this. And then I'm going to make my red orange. There's more red than orange, so two to click two times for red, one time for orange. So let's find a red. Two times for red. And let's find an orange. One time for orange. That becomes red orange. Wow, and very close as well. Then I will make my yellow orange, and this is going to be my last tertiary color. So that means yellow first, so that means there's two more yellow than orange. So find my yellow, 
click two times, one, two, and then find my orange, and one time, and that becomes my yellow orange, and you have your tertiary colors, and then after you finish creating your tertiary colors, I want you to click on file, click save, and that picture is going to save onto your computer under this name right here. It should save onto your download folder. If not, it depending on your computer where you know it's set to save to. Um, you can always get your phone, take a picture of this. That's fine too. Um, but let's see. I'm going to show you how I find this picture so I can upload it. So first, I will go back to my discussion start a new thread, um, put my name, tertiary colors, then click on the camera, that's insert image, look for my computer, click on upload, and I'm going to go and find my download folder on the left, downloads, and I'm going to look uh, my folder is already set up to date. That means anything that's the most recent, that will show up over here. And look at that. That's my picture right there. 2020, March 23rd, clicky. Um, and that's at 556, which is just a minute ago. So I click on that one. I click open, add. And this box is going to pop up. So scroll down and just select um, the word, this image is decorative. Or you can put another name for it, that's fine too. Click OK and the picture should show up here. All right, and you're ready to post. And you just click on post and it should post for you. And look at that. There are my tertiary colors. Good luck.